This is my recording setup. It's pretty basic. I have Logic 8. I use on my iMac. I have uh, an audio interface made by M Audio and the Korg M50. Some Logitech speakers. And that is about it. Hello! This is Tommy from Between the Bear and Me. I'm going to show you some steps I took to create a song using only the Korg M50. Let's get started. I started off with um, just a basic piano line. I think it's in seven. It's a. Uh... put a bass line behind that, that was the next step I took. Let's see here. Everything's touch screen. Very easy to use. Let's see here, I used acoustic bass. And I wrote the bass line which is... Put that behind the piano part. And then I, then I created a drum beat behind those two parts. And then I choose the tempo, which is simple as that, 62.5, which matches the song. The good thing about this, you can change, you can basically make any drum kit part of your beat. And this beat's already pre-programmed. I wanted to show that, you know, you can, how real sounding the drums are on this keyboard. It's pretty, right here. And I took this beat, I kind of messed with it a little bit through editing. But um, it sounded really cool behind what I had written. So we have those three parts. And then I put some strings behind it. And then I did four, which is this. Just to create a little texture, you know. And that's basically the first part of the song. And all together. That. Okay, this next part, I took the same piano patch I had from the first section and I basically just tweaked it, which you can go to controls over here. Went to the cutoff, cut it down a little bit. And I can actually compare that to the original sound. This is the button. And then I created a beat behind that. The next drum beat I did, um, I basically did it like I did the first beat that I showed you. Um, I found a cool electronic beat. And it was actually in 4 4, so I had to tweak it a little bit through editing to make it fit because it kind of fights the 7 feel of the piano. But um, it came out pretty cool, I thought. And here's. I did some painting with editing and stuff. I put some strings behind it. But the next part I wanted to make it really intense, kind of a build up section to actually break it back down again. I guess the first thing I did, I just did piano. Go back. Sounds like a guitar. You can hear that solo. Then we did the, the tippity drum. Some cymbals. The really cool thing about this keyboard is just how many different things there are on it. There's patches for any sound you can really think of. So I mean creating you know a lot of textures is easy, which is what I like to do with keyboards and between bear to me especially. So you just go to lead synth. The one I found, Vintage Sci-Fi Lead. Basically, the lead is.
speed I found on the Psycho Chill kit. Um, and one thing I did at this one section right here is I think I tripled the BPMs to the beat. It kind of adds some weird texture and I did some panning with it as well. That's how I got that little section there. Next I put a little bass synth thing behind that, which is cool. It's it right there. I thought it was a cool texture, but it needed something else. I wanted to kind of go back to the... I'm kind of into the 70s era sci-fi, you know, score music, and kind of want to put a little arpeggio thing that kind of made it feel like aliens were landing. This next section I'm going to create an arpeggio patch. Basically I found what is called Huggy Lead, was a patch on here. And I'm gonna go to the arpeggio section. Right now it's on one octave. I want it on three octaves. Change the tempo. Then I'm gonna change the arpeggio pattern. There's about 800 different arpeggio patterns for each patch on this keyboard. So you got a lot of options. I'm gonna do up and down. And right now we have this. Cut the arpeggio button on. Easy as that. You can even latch it so you don't have to hold anything. <laughs> okay, so I'm back on the Psycho Chill kit. And I'm basically going to start off with uh, a simple beat. That's what I did. I put some weird noise behind it. And then the bass line was heard earlier. As some of the fans know, I'm a big fan of noisy keyboards. That's basically the end of the song. After that, I go back to the beginning section. Everything's about building, you know, building off each other and kind of setting different moods. I wanted to make it instrumental because I can't sing with this. I can only sing with this. I wanted to make an instrumental track that was very soothing. You can maybe throw on while you're watching the Food Network or something. Um, and that's, that's it. And now I'm hungry. I'm sweating. Look at Enjoy the song. Bye-bye. It's pretty easy to use. Here is the touch screen I keep speaking of. Go to categories. You got all your different categories. You know, organs, bells, vocals, brass. Blah, blah, blah. Drums. Look at all the drum kits you have. I mean, it's unbelievable. Wow! Thanks for watching. Check out Between Bear and Me. Uh -huh.